guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So this is the final video in the Drugstore Chubby Lip Pencil mini series. And today I am talking all about the brand new to the North America, um, Rimmel Long Lasting Color Rush, Long Lasting Intense Color Balms. These just came out here. These have been in the UK for well over a year now, but they just came out in Canada. And I know they're, they're just slowly coming out in the States because I'm seeing other people do reviews on them. So I figured now would be a good time to bring them up and talk about them. Give you guys some lip swatches, some hand swatches, let you decide which colors you like the most. I think I have quite a few of them. I didn't get a lot of the nudes or the deeper like berry tone ones because that's just not what I wear. So I got like a peach and then more of a pink. And then I've got three of kind of like the brighter pink reddies and then I have one berry. So eight in total. So let's talk about formulation on these. These have a sickening sweet smell. It smells like vanilla cupcake. And I absolutely love it. I want to eat my lips whenever I'm wearing these. And I've been wearing these so much, it's ridiculous. I love almost every color I have. I don't think any of them are all that similar. I know some people are saying there are similar shades. I don't know. I don't find that. I find each has its own unique tone. And like I said, the scent just blows me away. So these are a twist up like pretty much every other product I think I've talked about in this mini series. The packaging is super cute. It is the same color as the balm inside. And then it has the um, like Revlon signature crown and it's all in silver. It's really beautiful. The color names are on them. They're very small written underneath a very long name. And they do have a number and a color. Also, with these, these are super hydrating. They feel so creamy and moist on your lips. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. I, I love that about them. I can wear these all day. They don't really dry out my lips, even when I'm drinking. Like right now, I'm drinking a tea, and I'm drinking it through a straw because A, my teeth are still very sensitive, and B, it actually helps keep more lipstick on, but you can see a lot of lipstick has come off onto this straw, and I still look like I'm wearing a full lipstick. I feel so weird drinking tea through a straw, but it's the only way I can get it in without it hurting. I know. These also are very long lasting. Like they say lasting finish. These will stay on your lips, I would say six to eight hours with very little wear down. And I know that sounds like a really, really big claim, but that's just the experience I've had with them. Every one of these colors I have worn has lasted at least six hours without reapplying. That's also without eating and drinking too much. Mostly I'm drinking through a straw at this point. So I guess if you're doing normal eating and drinking, I would say four to six hours, but for a balm type product, that is still very long lasting. Now, these don't claim to be staining. However, I do find that they do leave a little bit of color pigment left on your lips. This is my lips with nothing on them and all I've applied to them so far today is this. So as you can see, they definitely have a little bit of a pinkish tint to them. I wouldn't say it's staining, but I would say that it does add a little color to your lips. You ready for the colors? Let's get into the colors. That's really the only reason why you guys watch these videos. So the first one is the one I'm wearing right now. It is number 110, Make Me Blush. So that is the packaging shot. It's a beautiful medium pink and it kind of pulls on the blue side. I particularly love this color because I just think it's a great everyday throw in your purse color, but it's not like a neutral. It has that definite pop there. So that's the swatch on my hand and again on my lips. This has been actually one of my favorites and I don't like a lot of blue tone pinks. I just find them awfully cold on me, but this one I really do like and I think it's because it's a brighter tone of blue tone pink that I like it so much. But this has been one of my go-tos. So the next color I'm going to show you guys is number 610. Number 610 Sunkissed. This is a beautiful kind of peachy pink coral color. So that's what Sunkiss looks like on the lips. This is my go-to shade for the spring. It is the perfect peachy pink color. It has a gorgeous kind of light hint of coral. I'll give you guys a hand swatch. Do you guys see how pretty that is? This would be wearable, I think, on every single skin tone because it doesn't have one specific color to it. It's more of like a peach, a pink, and a coral. But I literally love this on my lips, like love it. So the next one I'm gonna show you guys is number 600 on fire. So that's the packaging for that one. A deeper pink coral. I think this is definitely like spring transitioning into summer. It's a little brighter, it's a little funner. But I think it would look good, again, on every skin tone. It has that pink, that coral, and that orange tone that doesn't look offensive to any skin. However, colors like this do make your teeth look more yellow than more white. So now let's get into the pinks. The first one is number 210, Boom Chicka Boom. So you can see from the packaging, it's just a really bright pink. That is a hand swatch. 
So very bright, fun, like just a pure pink. I really love this one. So this one is a very fun, bright pink. Again, pulls a little bit more blue. So if you like looking like you have whiter teeth, this is the kind of color to go for. If you also like a bright lip, this is it right here. I will do a complete set of hand swatches at the end of the video so you can compare each color one by one. So you guys can see my lips seem to be getting darker. It's because the more colors I apply, the more they seem to leave marks on my, or the more it seems to leave pigment on my lips, which is interesting because these are not marked as a, as a stain. Next one I'm doing is 120, all you need is pink. So that's the two. So this is number 120, all you need is pink. This is a very beautiful pink red. This one is the most like Boom Chicka Boom, except like I said, Boom Chicka Boom pulls blue and this pulls more of a pink red. I really love this color. You guys know pink reds are one of my favorites. And this is the kind of color you can throw in your purse, throw on your lips and go. You don't really need a mirror and I love that about it. So that is the hand swatch for all you need is pink. And that is it on my lips. So we are down to the last two. The first one I'm going to do is Rumor Has It. So that's the packaging. So this is just a couple shades deeper than the All You Need Is Pink. It's a really beautiful wearable color. This is definitely a bright, bold red pink color. That's it on the hand. This color reminds me a lot of Logan Berry from the Too Faced La Creme line. It's just bright, it's bold, it's pinky red, it's beautiful. It's one of my absolute favorites in this line. I seem to be saying that a lot in this video and you guys will know at the end of this why. So the last one I have is number 500, the redder the better. That's what the packaging looks like. So this is the redder the better. Isn't this gorgeous? Out of all of them, this is the only one I say that you really have to be careful when you apply it. It does have a lot of red pigment to it, but it is stunning. This is the gorgeous, bright, classy red that you're used to seeing people wearing, that you're always hunting for. This is it. It reminds me a lot of Revlon's Fire and Ice. Which is, my ha which is my hands down favorite red color of all time, but this is just stunning. I truly think if I had a choice, I'd probably walk around with a red lip every day of my life. I just love the way this looks. So that is the hand swatch for the redder the better. So this is the pink and the peach side by side. They do look quite similar, but the peach one is definitely more coral and the pink one is just a pure blue tone pink. So now I'm going to swatch all the next ones all side by side because some of the people here are some people are saying they're very similar and I just don't see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them all. That was totally white blue, but I kind of put them in color gradient there. So that's all four of them. I would say on fire and all you need are all you need are all you need is pink are the two closest of all of the ones I own. But one is definitely more orange and one is definitely more pink. So the orange one, of course, is on fire, and the pink one, of course, all you need is pink. The other two are a blue tone pink and then a more like hot pink magenta. I do think that each color is really a unique shade, and so if you like the colors that you saw on my lips today, then I highly suggest you go out and pick these up. I'm thinking these are going to be regular line, because they didn't say limited edition anywhere on the packaging, and gosh, I hope so, because these are phenomenal. My favorites. If I had to list off my favorites, honestly guys, I would tell you all eight. I wear all of them. These have been like my go-to. When I'm doing my lips in the morning, when I want something, peach, pink, red, ready pink, bright red, bright orange, these are what I go for. I'm not using any of my other lipsticks at the moment, which is actually kind of sad for my other lipsticks, but fantastic for these guys. So, if you are looking for a very hydrating, very moisturizing feeling, highly pigmented lip balm slash kind of a stain slash lip product these are your <laughs> makes no sense but these are your choice so I love each and every one of these I think out of all of the reviews I've done these are my favorite I like these more than I mean they're all different the Revlon matte balms have their own texture but as far as like shiny glossy beautifulness these hands down take the cake I hope this mini review was helpful for you guys. I do have the high-end series coming up shortly. Like I said, I'm probably going to take a break from these. Thank you guys so much for watching all these drugstore ones. If you haven't seen the other ones, they will all be linked here and here. Do, do, do. Co oh, sorry, I've got CoverGirl, I've got Redlon, I've got some, a bunch of drugstore different brands here. Click on those videos, go check out my reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>